Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dan the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Got a 2016 Ford Transit van here, 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, and I've got a check engine light with a P051B code. So I suspect that we're having some issues with our crankcase pressure sensor, which is right down here. It's this little sensor that's on the PCV tube. Now there's a few things that you'll wanna check that can also cause the P051B error code. Number one would be make sure that your dipstick is fully inserted right here. You also wanna take a look at the little black O-ring on your dipstick. Make sure that this is in good shape, not cracked or broken. Also wanna double check your oil level, make sure that it's not been overfilled. I think we're due for a change here, but, uh, but it's not overfilled. So let's put that back. Do a quick visual inspection on these PCV lines and just make sure that they haven't been knocked off or anything. They, they don't appear to be broken or cracked or anything like that. You can take a look inside the fill cap and make sure there's no sludge or anything weird going on like that. Uh, this looks pretty clean, just a little bit of oil residue, which is normal. I think it's likely that our sensor is failed or it could be dirty. So one option would be to take this off and try to clean it. I decided to go ahead and just order the PCV tube assembly with the sensor. I decided to also go with the Ford OEM part on this. There's your part number right there, a GK4Z6758B. I did get this same check engine light a couple years ago, uh, the same error code of P051B, and I cleared it and it went away and did not come back on for almost two years. Maybe it was slightly overfilled or something like that. This time I cleared the code and it came back the very next day and I cleared it again and it came back the very next day again. So I think that that sensor is either failed or it's, you know, it's maybe dirty or gummed up with, with oil residue that it can't get a correct reading and can't send that to the computer. So we're just gonna go ahead and swap it out. Now, if you look at the new sensor, you can see just this little nub right here. That's all we need to do is to get the connector to just clear this little, this little bump right here. Pretty easy to get to, but see this part right here is all we need to lift up on. See that little plastic piece? If you can just lift that up and pry that just like so. And if you can either pull down on the connector, I'm gonna use the same screwdriver to push down and it pops right off. And the connectors here, this little gray tab right here, you just push down with your finger. The new one here is blue. Just by pushing that down, it opens it up and that allows you to pull it straight off. So just push that tab and wiggle it, it comes right off. And you can see the tube right here, it kind of pivots on that one. Now, if you pivot it back a little bit, that gives you a little bit more room. And this really isn't that hard, it's just hard to film. All we really need to do is just pull back on that same little plastic tab and the pipe should just pop straight off. There it is. Well, that's pretty easy to put the new one in. Just try to get the bottom lined up where it goes. And then top one, same thing. Just presses on. I gotta put my hand down here to push on the bottom one. And you'll feel it click into place or snap into place. And then the electrical connector here, pretty simple. Just line that up. That's it. This little piece of tape, I just put this on here to hold the label in place. I just thought I'd leave that on in case I do need to look that up in the future if I do have any other issues with this sensor. But that's pretty much it. Pretty easy job to do. This really shouldn't take you more than five minutes. I took a little longer with filming it, but hopefully you get the idea of how easy that is. Ford doesn't exactly call this a crankcase pressure sensor. You can look it up and sometimes find it that way or finding it by searching for the PCV tube assembly with the pressure sensor. But the name that Ford calls calls this or that they refer to this in their manual is the Delta Pressure Feedback EGR sensor or DPFE sensor. I read several different blogs, several different posts. Some had some great information. It does seem to be a fairly common issue with the Ford EcoBoost engines, all sizes and across several different models. And it seems like we're swapping out this entire assembly. It seems to fix it. It seems to do the trick. So if you are searching on this or trying to figure this out and you have the same check engine light and you're looking this part up or you're looking for it in the Ford manual, you might be able to search it by DPFE or the Delta Pressure Feedback EGR. I've heard that Ford discontinued selling just this sensor and they're selling it only as an assembly with this PCV tube. So that's, uh, that's what we ended up getting. Again, these little plastic tabs, I imagine these do get pretty brittle. This one definitely has lost some of its spring. It doesn't push all the way back. And that's probably why Ford just did that. They just said, eh, let's just discontinue the sensor and sell the entire thing. And, and uh, that seems to, to be the solution. So we'll go ahead and get the check engine light reset on this. And uh, I'll post an update in the video if I have any other issues with that coming back on. You could also just drive with it like this and that should reset on its own. Either way, should be fine. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll see if I can't post a link to the same part that I used in 
the description for you as well. Now be sure to check out a couple of my other Ford Transit videos. I'll put this in a playlist along with the rest of the Ford Transit videos. Hopefully uh, one of these videos will help you out. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.